Okay, so here we are. We're going to um, set up our file um, for your pen tool portrait. Um, and we'll get started on kind of the mechanics. Um, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to go to this print menu option. I think we've all kind of are fairly familiar with this, these defaults here. Um, I'm going to make mine a letter size and I'm going to make sure that my dimensions are in inches. Okay. Um, for my particular image, it will be more vertical. Um, if I remember correctly, if not, I can, I can change it. Um, one artboard, less confusing, just to start there. And we're going to hit create. All right. That raccoon was there from our last video. Okay. So in setting up your file for when you're making your portrait, the most important probably window is going to be this layers window for you. Um, if you want to just kind of make a note of that, everything else you can probably set aside, I would say. Um, but since, you know, we've got really our swatches, our layers and our tools, we're good to save. So I would suggest to save right now, right? Um, make sure wherever you're saving it to, you know where it is. And you know what it's called. All right, and I'm going to click save. Um, this default, I believe everybody is on the 2020 Creative Cloud. If you are not and you're planning to work on this on that earlier version, you can save it down. But if not, I think it's safe to say most of everybody can keep this these default settings and click OK. All right. All right. So um, hopefully before you get started, you have a, an image that you have taken that you've determined is what you want to kind of start drawing. OK, um, you have between now and Friday just to kind of pick and that though that range of dates, I just wanted to give you that time because, you know, to decide on what you want. I'm not going to be uh, checking your progress between now and Friday, but come Tuesday, October 6th, you will be posting your in progress illustration. So it doesn't have to be final, doesn't have to be finished. You're going to kind of show us what you've done between now and next week. All right. Um, so here we are. We've saved our file. Wonderful. Now I'm going to go to uh, file place and I'm going to find the image that I wanted to trace. It was this one and I'm going to place. So my image is pretty big. That's okay. I want to just make it a little bit smaller. I am not tracing all of this image. I'm going to focus on this uh, stem, the flower, and the butterfly. Okay. So so you can see everything is on layer one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock layer one. And I'm going to create a brand new layer. This is the start of my drawing layer. Um, 
feel free and you'll discover this along the way to make as many layers as you find comfortable for you okay um some students they separate their layers um just by object so like they they pen tool one thing they close the shape and then they want to make a brand new layer totally fine i have not seen any student break this layer system i think we had um a couple students that have gone you know beyond 50 layers so it's really up to you so i would encourage you to save frequently command s right uh, i'm gonna zoom in on my drawing layer i'm gonna start with and i'll zoom in i'm gonna start with this petal right so it's the pen tool that you were practicing with and i know this seems kind of like it's going off the deep end here but it's the best way to really start so you get your pen tool um, you're going to be tracing your image right or the image area that you want um, so a couple of things before you get your pen tool and start clicking make sure your fill is none and right here this is the color of the stroke and i want to pick a color that's very bright and different from my surrounding area so if i'm tracing this yellow petal i'm not going to want to make the stroke yellow right same thing if you're tracing something with like a dark background you have the option to change this uh, stroke color as frequently as you want you can make all these colors not match until a, the day you're about to submit i'm concerned with you making an object and being able to um you know color it in properly um so it looks like your image when you're ready to submit okay so make your first point and we'll zoom in and you'll notice right that this is not a straight line it's a curve i think you might find this will apply to everything so to make a curve right we're not doing something super dramatic but just a slight curve you're going to click and you're going to drag and then you're going to you can see that it curves the other way so you're going to click and drag i'm holding down my space bar key so i can you know navigate the screen without using my scroll bars and i'm just going to be clicking and dragging so whether you're doing this with your trackpad um, with your mouse it's up to you um, wherever you feel comfortable and whatever tools you want to use okay i'm going to change direction so i clicked on that kind of like your umbrella scallops right holding down my space bar key to not, like move and grab that page And for all of your objects, right? All of these shapes, all of the petals, all of these different things that will make up your illustration, you have to close the shape. And so just a reminder to close the shape, you have to go back to that first point and just kind of you click to close it, okay? 
And I would suggest with every shape you can breathe and then make sure you go Command S so you can save your file, right? Um, then you can start uh, on your next shape, right? I'm going to keep things on, like right now, this layer at the moment. Um, you don't have to, um, but I'm, you know, Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll make a brand new layer just so you can see it. I'm going to do leaf. And then I'll put leaf details. Okay, so my leaf details are going to be like that ridge right here, changing color. And then I might make another one for like the, the, the kind of like that darker color. Okay. So for every um, shape, make sure you close it. Um, I want to say a good rule is if it's like a different color or a different tone, um, make a new object for it, right? There's no drop shadows here you're just going to be using subtle differences in the colors to create depth. Um, I wanted to kind of keep these videos semi short. So I'm going to stop there. So that was my first shape. Um, in the next one, I'll add detail. And then you know, you can kind of see it take shape. Um, I'm obviously not going to do the whole illustration in this in your video tutorial but i did want to show you for sure how to set up your file and basically let's we'll zoom out again um, you have one um, layer that's your photo and i wanted you to kind of make sure that that's locked so you can kind of see your progress right retrace that one petal you can kind of see like oh look there's the petal um, and then you can add as many layers as you want. So I'll do another video with like kind of the details and some other tips. But, you know, once you get that, then you can actually um, start. You can start whenever you want, right? Just as long as you pick your image um, and you set up your file correctly. Um, but I'll do the, the next video and then you know, let me know if you have any questions. And again, don't forget to save all the time in this project because you don't want to lose anything. Okay. Till the next one.